In this video, we are going to talk about what is the NoSQL database and what are the types of NoSQL database available in the market. So that is a topic which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, what is NoSQL database? NoSQL database is nothing but it is used to store the unstructured and semi-structured data as well as the structured data. So that is nothing but your NoSQL database. In other words, what I can say that when we have a very big data or huge data and this data are unstructured and semi-structured, then we use the NoSQL database. So that is nothing but your NoSQL database. I hope you have understood. Now let's have a look on the what are the categories available in the market of the NoSQL database. So guys, very first category is nothing but your document based NoSQL database. Another category is nothing but your graph based NoSQL database and another category is nothing but your column based NoSQL database and the fourth and final category is nothing but your key value pair based database. So that is nothing but your categories of the NoSQL database and in these categories so many databases are available. Let's have a look on that. So guys, I hope you have understood what are the categories available in the market for the NoSQL database. Okay, now let's discuss all these category one by one. Okay, so I would like to start with the very first category which is nothing but your document based NoSQL database. So what exactly this document based NoSQL database? So as name indicate, it is a a document based database means it's a document oriented database in which we store the information in the form of document and this document could be the your JSON file or XML file or YML file or Microsoft uh, Word file or Excel file uh, this could be anything okay and it depends upon the database to database because the, each company have their different different logic and have different different purpose and they have different different ways to store the information okay guys so, so that is nothing but your document based NoSQL database now let's understand where exactly this database we use so we use this database when we talk about the content management so this is the first use of the uh, your uh, document database okay another example is nothing but your real-time analytics another example is nothing but your product management in the e-commerce uh, websites so that is nothing but your usage of the document based NoSQL database in which we have a huge big data okay so in order to manage that we use this database category or this uh, NoSQL database okay Moving on to the next category, which is nothing but your graph based NoSQL database. So as name indicate, we store the information in the form of graph or I can say that it is a graph oriented database in which we have the nodes, edges and their property. And in that form only we store the information. And what is the examples or where we use the graph based uh, NoSQL database? The very first example is nothing but your machine learning. Another example is nothing but your fraud detection. So these are the examples of the uh, your graph based NoSQL database. Okay, moving on to the next database, which is nothing but your column based NoSQL database. So, in which we have the table and the column, and in that only we store the information. Okay, guys, now you can question over here how exactly this differs from the relational database, in which also we have the table and the column. So, guys, I would like to tell that in the relational database we cannot store the unstructured and the semi-structured data however that we can store in the NoSQL database now you can question one more thing over here what exactly unstructured and semi-structured data mean so if i will talk about unstructured and semi-structured data means 
it could be the video file it could be your text file it could be your xml file it could be your image file anything can be the unstructured data okay and this can be stored in the nosql database however we cannot store in the your relational database okay guys so that is the difference between the nosql database and the relational database okay now let's talk about where exactly we use the column based nosql database so guys i would like to tell that as per the my experience we can use the this nosql database uh, column based nosql database in a place where we have a very very big tables or i can say that transactions table in that we use this column based nosql database okay guys so i hope you have understood what exactly where exactly we use the column based nosql database okay and the example is nothing but your kasandra is nothing but your column based nosql database okay guys i hope you have understood now moving on to the next one and the last one which is nothing but your key value based nosql database so in which we have a key and the value okay and this key is mapped to the value and the value could be your video file document file xml file any unstructured data okay guys so this is nothing but your categories of the uh, nosql database and what exactly and where exactly we use okay but over here i have missed one thing in the key value pair uh, nosql database where exactly we use so you have to tell me in the comment box where exactly we use the key value pair based nosql database okay guys so this is all about the this session and i am finishing this session over here and if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to share this video in any of the social media platform thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care